Let's redo this. Give me a tiebreaker. Right. Another boy for Say hello ready. to my little friend. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, my friend. Ah, TK, that was nice. That was some bad badminton. Coach, tell us a little bit about the academy itself. I mean, there are some of us who may look back at our days of struggling to be good at it. Um, you know, what would you have done differently? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, the Jamaica Badminton Academy, it's been around for about three years now, so okay. it's a relatively young club. Mm -hmm. um, we have four coaches currently, and each coach is in charge of different age groups, so I work with the little ones, okay. pretty much eight and under, mm -hmm. and then we have the other coaches that work with the teenagers and older, mm -hmm. adults even as well. Okay, yeah. in terms of teaching badminton, do you teach the rules first and then and then you know you get into the actual skills and dexterity? How how do you approach? I personally work with the actual badminton first, so the physical aspect of it, and then we get into the rules a little bit later when they understand playing the game a little bit more. Ah. Because the rules aren't really that important in the beginning when you're just learning to play. Mm -hmm. But when you get into competition and you want to actually learn to play matches now, that's when we get more into the rules. Like so, uh, tell us, Catherine, in terms of, you know, what are some of the entry-level skills that you, the kids need to have? And, or maybe if I'm saying, my son, mm -hmm. he's five years old, maybe I should be directing pushing me in the direction of badminton. Like, what are some of the things that I should be trying to do or trying to get him in, um, to learn? Honestly, as long as the person is willing mm -hmm. and is willing to learn, there's really no skills that you necessarily need to have to start. Mm -hmm. All you need is the mindset and just the will to learn. You know, like learn. how basketball, you say, if you're tall, you have an advantage. So that's you know? the thing with badminton. We mm -hmm. have various height levels. You have top people in the world that are six feet tall, and you have those that are five feet and less than five feet, and they're still beating the tall ones. Okay. So okay. height doesn't really matter. It does assist in some cases, but mm -hmm. there's no requirements like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can parents who maybe they see this and they say, you know, I'm interested in having my child, you know, do badminton, how do they even get started or contact you? How does it work? All right, so we have a website, an Instagram page and a Facebook page. Um, the social media is Jamaica Badminton Academy. Okay. Mm -hmm. On it, you can see our training days, which are Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays mm -hmm. and Sundays. So we have weekdays and weekend trainings mm -hmm. available, um, four to six during the week, 12 to two on Saturdays and 10 to 12 on mm -hmm. Sundays. On our website, you can just Google Jamaica Badminton Academy and we have a form that you can fill out if you want to enter. Or just show up at the Chinese Benevolent Association on those days that I mentioned and we'll be willing to coach you. Let's redo this, give me a tiebreaker. Okay, 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 okay. So this is three all, let's see who's gonna win. <laughs> I think they got that. They won. I think that's crossing it. <laughs>